today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the new Bandai Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles SH Figure Arts Donatello. Spot just had a look at the Leonardo in the previous video. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, head over. Go, go, see, what, go see what's going on. Uh, Donatello comes with uh, what appears to be a slice of pizza, interchangeable head, and of course, somewhere in there, somewhere, somewhere in there is a bow staff as well, as indicated here on the front image. Inside of the box, we've just got Donatello on the back, showing you the dynamic posing you can put this in, superior sculpt, optional parts, and of course, collectability. SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that uses the art style of Bandai action figures to successfully pursue character expression through humanoid action. Uh, with that, Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the SH Figure Arts Donatello. There's more heading your way. Don't go anywhere. Like with the Leonardo that we've already had a look at, Donatello does come with a multitude of different accessories. Well, let's go through those together. Of course, no Donatello would be complete without an inclusion of a bow staff, and this SH Figure Arts release of him also comes with said bow staff. Only comes with one. Um, I suppose there could have been a little bit of paint that could have been applied to the staff itself. Other than that, it's not a bad looking staff. It does exactly what it needs to do put that to the side. He does also come with an interchangeable head. I'll show you how to change that out in a second. He comes with a part to his back strap of that goes to the back of his shell. Comes with a slice of pizza which I would almost feel would be more fitting of a Michelangelo as you know Donatello I think could have come with a gadget or something that he could have maybe held in his hand other than a slice of pizza. Seems like a not a missed opportunity, but it just seems like a, a wrong option to go with something like this rather than he's a gadget guy. He's a gadget turtle. He really deserves to have, I think, something technology based and not necessarily a slice of pizza. At any rate, though, we'll put that to the side. And of course, he comes with several different hands. Same style of hands as the Leonardo we've already had a look at. Some partially open hands. Uh, well, completely open hands, I should say, partially open hands, and then hands suited for holding the bow staff. Right, it comes with a total of six hands. Technically eight if you want to count the ones that are currently in his sockets. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip the figure around. Like the Leonardo, you have to get your finger in there, pry off like the one section, and basically just pop the back shell off. Well, not the shell, but the strap that goes across the shell. Then replace it. Replace it with the, the strap that has the loop that holds the bow staff. Now, it does look like it's slightly off-colored from like the rest of it. You can see right here it has a little bit more of a brown tone to it. This has a little slightly lighter color. Nah, small little nitpick. Small little nitpick. And then your bow staff will just slide into that. I guess what they wanted to do is they wanted to have the interchangeable parts all obviously in the same area. It works better on Donatello than I think if it looked on Leonardo, who I think, again, his, his was a little too on the short side. It should have been further up. But again, that's just a little small, a small point to make. Just a little small, small nitpick. Go ahead and take that out of his hands. Pop this back off, and we'll replace it with the original component piece. Making sure, of course, going it the right way. That snaps into place like that. Bingo, bango, you're ready to go. Now, his head, I'm just going to move the accessories out of the way for a second, move the pizza slice out of the way for a second. Bringing in the Leonardo that we've already had a look at, the coloring actually is not that different from them, which is more... I think in tune with the classic series, having the colors more accurately closer together instead of the jarring, you know, the four different colors that the turtles are known for. Uh, one thing though I did want to mention was that the faces, the default faces on both turtles seem to be about the same. There's not too much different between the two. So we put Leonardo there for a second. Just get him to stand, there we go. Well, let's go ahead and pop, first of all, the back of the bandana off. It's just a little peg, pull that off. 
Then we'll go ahead and grab the torso and very carefully and very easily pop the head off and replace it with the interchangeable head. Now, again, this much like the pizza, I feel reads a little bit more like a Michelangelo than I, I feel like it reads like a Donatello. Um, eventually, as Spot does get the Michelangelo and the Raphael, I'll probably gravitate more towards going back. I'm just going to peg this into place before I drop it on the floor. I'll probably gravitate, I think, a little bit more towards this head when eventually I get the Mikey and the Raph. And uh, Michelangelo will likely have a face sculpt like this, so I'll probably keep this for Michelangelo. But in the meantime, I'll have this on Donatello as it does make it separate or different distinctly from his brother Leo here. Then we can go ahead and take the hands, just again, pop those right off. Find the corresponding hand that you want to find for holding the bow staff. Plug that into place, there we go. And then you can slide the bow staff through his hand. It's a slight more snugger fit than that of uh, Michelangelo or Leonardo's uh, katanas, but the end result is you can get Donatello holding his bow staff. And as well, once you get both hands in place, you can very easily have him holding the bow staff with both hands rather than just the one hand that I currently have it uh, set up as. Let's move Leonardo out of the way again. I've already done the review of him, if you want to go check that out. Now, where these figures certainly excel in, they're very faithful to the classic cartoon. The sculpt is phenomenal on them. Paint is really good, good interchangeable parts, little iffy on the pizza slice, to be perfectly honest, but they also excel in posability. Uh, Donatello's posability is he does have the ball joint in the head, same as Michael, uh, same as Leonardo, so there's nothing different there. And then he's got the ball joint at the base of the neck, so you have additional motion and movement there. The shoulders is really the most marvelous of all the articulation on this figure. Not only does he have the hinge joint, but he's got two different uh, crunches, if you want to call it crunches, or different arches to the shoulders. He's got one right there that controls the arm kind of moving additionally up and down. So if you want to smell Donatello's armpit, you can do that. Uh, but then he's got a secondary hinge that hinges the shoulders forward. Marvelous, marvelous articulation on these guys. He has a swivel point on the bicep, uh, a double hinge on the elbow, rotation and hinge on the hands. Um, the only thing that's slightly more on the limited side is he does apparently have articulation. If I fold down the front flap here of his shell, he does clearly have articulation there, although you can't really do anything with it. Uh, it doesn't look like it really pivots much, doesn't move up and down much. A lot of the culprit being that he's got just a big solid plastic shell on the back that limits a lot of that motion from even happening. When you get down to the legs, the same sort of idea as the shoulders, not as much, mind you, but he does have the hinge that allows full rotation on the feet. Slightly, I suppose, limited by the shell, but at least the front of the shell is softer. There's a rotation on the top cut of the thigh. Double hinge knee, a full, full range of motion in the knee. I mean, you could get probably to the point where he can almost, yeah, you can do like a karate kick. ka -chow. A Double hinge knee, like I said, a hinge on the feet, an ankle pivot left and right, and also a... a an actual arch or, or bend at the, the feet area. So you can move those feet further back, arch the foot forward. Uh, like I said with Michael uh, Leonardo, if you get the, the proper weight distribution on these figures, the figures stand very well. Like as you can see right there, I mean, I, I haven't done any real drastic posing with them, mind you, but you can see like you got a lot of range of additional motion and movement in the figures. You could even have them really essentially doing a, like a, a legs crossed, so to speak. Spot has not collected nearly enough SH Figure Arts figures. Uh, Bandai really is knocking these out of the park with some exceptional releases. But I think by far, in my personal humbled opinion, I think the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are probably some of uh, Bandai's finest releases under the SH Figure Arts banner. If you are a fan of Ninja Turtles, do yourself a favor and pick these guys up. They're available now at comic book stores. You can order these guys online as well. 
Um, I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with the Mikey and the Raphael, which I might even be out right now. I just haven't had a chance to pick them up yet. And uh, maybe down the road, we might eventually get a Rocksteady Bebop, a Krang robot suit. Oh, it's a good time to be a Turtles fan. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the SH Figuarts. This was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Donatello. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way as always. Always, thanks for watching. See you next time.